the following video is a tutorial designed um, to show everything um, that you can do from the uh, using the Mimeo toolbar. So to start this, we're just going to click on the Mimeo um, and open up uh, the Mimeo whiteboard, which is what this screen is here. This is the Mimeo whiteboard that you're seeing. And then we're going to look at the uh, Mimeo toolbar. The first thing that you can press in the top left corner on the toolbar or the tool set is um, the mouse key. Uh, the second one is the pen, which is the one that you're looking at right now. And as you can see, there are lots of different options for how to use the pen. You've got all kinds of different colors. You can see that I, I just selected black as a color. Um, you can select red. You can select all kinds of different things. Um, and then you can just draw like anything else. You can, you can change the uh, thickness of your pen. That's about the size I usually use. You can make it really small like that, almost like a regular pen. Or you can make it pretty big, like this one. Or you can make it very, very big, or as big. This is as big as it will get if you want to, for whatever reason, need to draw something very big. Um, also, you can change color. You can change to red. Um, you can change to any color you want. There's a bunch of different colors that you have options are. You can actually create your own colors using their uh, custom color set. So when it comes to colors, you have a bunch of different varieties and options that you can use. Um, you can also, again, like if I go through and change the um, size of it, I can I can write, you know, just normal, which is what I usually do, um, and, and see. And then the next one is a uh, highlighter tool. Now the highlighter tool is cool because um, it can allow you to to highlight something, and it allows um, when you use it, it allows. Um, for the people that are watching to see through your writing. So by highlighting something, they can actually see it. If I were to go get the pen and get the same color, I would uh, mark out the trend. The trend would go away. But by using the highlighter tool, they're still able to use it and uh, highlight it just like a normal highlighter would be. And you can use different colors. Um, you know, the, the, the yellow doesn't look all that good on the actual screen with my particular projector, but on this it doesn't look too bad, <laughs> as you can see. Um, and you can use a different kind of yellow. The projector doesn't distorts the colors a little bit, so right now what you're seeing is actually the computer screen, um, even though I'm doing all this at the board, this is all with the Mimeo pen. Uh, the next feature I'm looking at, real quickly, uh, so I don't miss it, is the uh, eraser feature. And that's the next one on there, it's a little circle, it allows you to erase, you saw I was doing it. Um, you can make the eraser bigger so that it really can knock things out, which is what I did there to make it really go uh, go away quickly. And so uh, it's a really nice feature, and you're able to erase whatever you need to. Uh, it's, it's very very clean and very quick, and, and there are no problems with it. The next uh, part to this is the line feature. And if you look at the line feature, there, there are different options. You can make just a plain straight line. Now one thing to be careful with is once you make one line, um, you can't play around with that line right away. Right? If I went and tried to move the end of that line, I can't do it and I just created another line. And you can kind of um, get yourself into trouble by keep creating lines um, if you're trying to move them. To actually move a line, you have to go click on the mouse tool in the top left corner. Once I do that, that allows me to have a lot of functionality with these lines. I can move them, I can lengthen them, and it's a very subtle. If you're somebody that's messed around much with the Microsoft Draw, and tried to try to get things like you want, and it can be kind of difficult. Uh, this drawing feature is actually more subtle than those drawing features. Uh, there's a way to make arrows on the end. You can change the color of them, just like you can, you know, all the colors are the same that the pen has. There's no difference um, in that. You can make them very thi or pretty thick, like this one, or you can make it very very thick by moving that slider bar, just like we had before. I don't know why anybody would want such a huge uh, arrow, but it's possible, um, and it gives you a lot of function. Um, you, there are vector ones where they, there's an arrow on one end, or a ray if you want to use a math term. Um, so there's lots of different options with those arrows, and it's something I really like when I'm teaching my kids to graph. Now one thing is you can't erase those. If you went through and tried to get on the eraser, the eraser isn't going to ra erase it. So to do it, you have to click on the mouse, and then um, you have to right click. And there's a right click button. You see the right click um, button on there, um, and, and that's one way to do it is to, is to use the right click button. Um, and so you actually have to get click on it, and then do the do the right click and, and delete delete the line. And so if you if you don't have it set up with the Mimeo the Mimeo marker or the Mimeo mouse, then you need to go to your computer and do it to get rid of the lines. Um, those are actually considered pictures rather than, or, or I don't know if pictures is the right word, but tools. Okay, the next one is you can create squares, uh, and you can create them in different different colors. Um, 
The next one, even though it looks like on the screen an octagon, it's actually the circle feature or the ellipse feature or the oval feature. You can create lots of different things in all, all kinds of different colors, just like anything else. The next one gives you a bunch of different options. You can create a triangle. Um, you can create um, a right triangle. Uh, you can create um, a star. Um, and the star, you know, is a perfect star. You can create a uh, hexagon and you can create um, also a pentagon. So there are five different shapes that you can use. These are very valuable for a geometry class. Um, and so you don't, it's very difficult if you've ever tried to draw a uh, pentagon or a hexagon onto a screen. So this is a very good way. Again, to get rid of these, you have to use the mouse feature. But before let's do that, let's look at the functionality of this. You can actually go through and spin um, those around. There, there's a, every time you click on a, one of these drawings, there's a green circle. You can see that green circle. And by grabbing a hold of that green circle with your pen, you can move it around. This might be valuable if you're trying to teach something about um, uh, maybe a lesson on um, symmetry or something like that. You could draw your line of symmetry in using the line feature and then you could go click on the um, using the mouse feature, click on the, the, the shape, grab that green and spin it around and show how it looks the exact same when you rotate it uh, 60 degrees. You know, rotate another 60 degrees, it still looks the exact same and rotate it 180 degrees uh, and whatever. But there, there's I, that, that was a feature I really liked and wish I had used when I when I went over symmetry in my geometry class this year. So next year for sure, if I teach geometry, I will use that um, as a, a way of teaching that. But again, to get rid of them, you got to click on them and do the cut. Um, that's just the best way to do it when you're at the screen. Um, later on, I'll do more videos of these and I'll show you how to how to change the buttons on your Mimeo mouse um, to make them make one of them right click if that's what you want to do. Um, I don't actually usually use the right click button except for this video. Um, a lot of times if I need to right, move, remove something, I'll just go to my computer and do it. Um, but you can, some people like the right click button and you can do that and it makes it very easy to do. And so that's, that's one thing you could do, um, which is what I'm using the right, I'm using the right click button right now to get rid of each one of these shapes. So the next thing that's on there um, you have is a uh, text tool and you can create text boxes. Um, one way that the one way to type is to go over to your computer and actually just type in them and, and you can shape change all those things it almost looks a little bit like word with all the different options you have for the text but if you want to stay at the board and type then you can just uh, open up the keyboard and that's that you can see where I just pressed is by the um, recorder in the bottom bottom row and you can just try those out until you find out which one is the text tool uh, a lot of times you just have to hit things until you get them to do what you want them to do um, and you can type just like you would if you were sitting at a um, computer. You just, just hit those buttons and type and, and there you go and you can create text and you can move that text around um, as much as you want um, using the mouse tool. If you go back and, and grab a hold of the mouse tool um, after I got, you know, I just got rid of the um, keyboard and I went and grabbed the mouse tool and I can move it around. Now I, I can change the size of the text box but this is different. It won't actually change the, the, the size of the text. Um, and if you need to, if you want something where you can change the size of the text, you can actually copy and paste from Word, and then it saves it as a picture. And then when you can mess around with the picture and, and change it, and I, I will show you show you that in my next video on Mimeo, where you can you could do pictures and show pictures, or, or maybe not my next video, but but later on I'll do a, one on video or pictures where you can do things. Uh, the last thing I want to change show you is the screen capture. Uh, this is a really, really amazing technology, and, and I could see in, in a lot of classes this could be valuable. I was just thinking as I was doing this video that if you could get on the internet and get a picture of a building, you could take a picture of a building just like I did. I took a picture of my screen, and um, you could get do some cool math problems, some geometry problems doing that. This is the end of this video. I will um, have another one that deals with the bottom row of those tools.